<clears throat> hey there, it's Peacekeeper Alex and the Psychic Wargamers. Uh, this is going to be the Psychic Wargamers Total War 3 Kingdoms Yellow Turban Rebellion campaign, Let's Play number 52. Uh, and this is also going to be the Psychic Wargamers stream number 62 as well. So we're going to go here, we're going to carry off. It's he against Kingdom of Wei, Battle of Badong District. Uh, uh, 3,203 with reinforcing 2,693. Deploying against uh, 2,280, reinforcing 1,666. Uh, he against Kingdom of Wei, Battle of Badong District. Let's let's start battle. I'm gonna be short of retinue. I'm trying to size up against he forces. Be bold, for history is on our side. We must be swift before we all freeze here. Be wise in battle and glorious in victory. So we're gonna start here, and we it looks like we have five yellow turban warriors, seven, seven units, and then some sacred garden watch and Yusha, two units apiece, another three supporting uh, sacred garden watch, three generals, Yu Shu, Yai Jai, and Ren Hui are going to deployment zone. We got a reinforcing army right across the way here. So we're gonna strafe straight to the left of us here as forces enemy here deploy, deploy giant infantry, like I swordsmen, like I spearmen, and uh, also some archers as well as you can see our reinforcing army hitting the field here, a retinue. And we're gonna put, hug them right against this cliff wall. They're entering right next to a bit of a canyon cliff off to the right side of them. And they're gonna just veer right around it and then meet up with the forces that I'm strafing to the left, uh, main army. An enemy is going on the opposite side of that cliff as well as they're emerging from the opposite side of that cliff on the other side. So I'm going to try and veer to the right uh, this main army of force and try and group together both armies because we don't want to be caught alone in a certain manner. See the main army of the enemy is still standing on that hill. Still has archer towers, a long line of defenses. Uh, is what the enemy has here, and we're we are finally moving, getting there through these uh, forested areas with the main army, trying to get them to that cliff wall, then veer off to the right with the enemy forces right behind on the opposite side of that cliff wall, then also right in front of them. So really. Right to the north of those uh, supporting retinues that hit the field now. We're going to get them going. Start moving them towards the cliff, cliff wall. Right on the other side in this little this valley dip. Will not do. And the enemy's going to march off that hill because they're on a hilled res uh, resourced area. Well, yeah, it seems to be probably. That's the kind of vibes I get as a psychic to a certain degree. See the enemy general here uh, going in, uh, Zhang Fei, Yellow Sky Herald's going in there and attacking. So there's a little bit of a clash happening as uh, those enemy generals emerge and start taking on some of our units that are trying to retreat back and group with the second uh, army. And we got the advantage by way of numbers, I think, 5,836 against 3,946, and we are starting to go down by way of those generals attacking our edges. Do have some horsemen in the mix I'm going to send out their generals. <coughs> I'm going to get my generals going here. We got six general grouping here. We're going to go right after Zhang Dun, I think. We're going to go He's just going to attack. As you can see here, they're going to approach. First attacks. There's the first charge. 
Then we got more. There's the second. Third. As you can see here, our generals are harassing one of the enemies. He is getting attacked. There's our cavalry charge here. Look at this. Going right for the generals, for the enemy. Saying phase still off over the corner there, uh, attacking that unit. It's all happening in Forced Region. Same face still there. Getting a little bit outmatched now. We're gonna get our generals after the enemy again and go after Saint Fei this time. We're gonna see them. A lot of cavalry on him as well. Making things a bit more difficult than it needs to. And you can see the enemy approaching here with multiple units. We've got the bulk of our army in the hidden in this forest. And these Lankai spearmen venturing forth. Put some cow traps in the way just to make things a little more difficult for the enemy. Forming up in formation, as well as our archers are right there in the front. We're gonna bring them back to a certain degree. We can group it into different units here. So we do have quite a few yellow turban warriors. Go to so we have at least ten units. Another one in the mix as well. Another two. Another three. Another four. It is pointless to keep trying. So ten. Uh, then we get our archers together here. We got s just a small grouping. Five units. And we just can get situated. Get our arrowmen back. Bring them backwards. Get them out of the danger zone here. As you can see, multiple units in, uh, charging and attacking our cavalry on the right flank. Yellow turban horsemen. Some white wave horsemen as well too. Trying to fend off a big bulk of the enemy. Like I swordsman, spearmen, giant infantry. Uh, grouping, and then right off to the right side again, those Lankai Swordsmen, two units, clashing with the cavalry. Another uh, unit caught one of our arrow, our arrowmen off guard here, and they're kind of clashing this Swordsman unit. I'm trying to get them out of there. Our six generals, where are they? Well, so they're fighting some of the men over here in the in the main army. I want to pull them back, try and get them go after the general. Get him out of the way. You can see the health of the enemy general here going down. Your form needs improvement. You belittle yourself with your words. Prepare. We heal up the generals, so now they're full health, and there is a forest fire going on too here. More enemy approaching arrowmen, uh, finally assaulting those positions. Uh, we do have a, still a large amount of troops, so we're going to charge in. Uh, no, 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 we don't want to charge in. We don't want to charge in. Halt, 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 halt. Halt that maneuver. We want to go in slowly through the front. Move these guys here. Remove the s north of this army. The enemy warriors are running. So 
So we're kind of surrounded uh, to the north and west of us. You can see the enemy army trying to break through. We've got some warriors there, but not going to be enough to be true. But behind, uh, we do have multiple more forces, so we're going to try and send them forth upwards. Moving our army inwards, Sacred Garden Watch. Try and clash with those Lankai archers, trying to attack that one small thin line. Dilla Turban Warriors trying to hold it down here, as you can see. See more Hiyu forces move up. South South forces clashing right next door. Generals, we can send in. I think we're gonna go after them archers. So you can see the generals departing. General's getting caught by some enemy. Try to pursue those archers. You can see here the general's now making it over there, hitting them archers. There we go. Wow, a hit on the enemy general here. He falls. Going after those archers. Get them out of the way. So the enemy is uh, taking a bit of a hit. We're going to sally forth on the one side here with the remainder of the enemy units. We can see a grouping of yellow turban warriors clashing with multiple different kinds of enemy units. Lankai Giant Infantry, again those halberds and the swords, uh, then right beside small unit of Yellow Turban Warriors trying to block a large amount of enemy, another 3, 4, 5 units. To the north, uh, something similar with another unit that's kind of getting surrounded by like 5, 6 units of enemy. So we're going to go in and try and relieve the embattled on that side by bringing another 5 strafe units from the remainder battle next door, one enemy unit. Lankai archers uh, about to go down, and when it does, there's another four, five, six, seven, eight units. Uh, he forces free up, go right over next door, and it'll happen. And you can see this last charge here against this pocket of enemy unit. The enemy warriors are running. And there you go, break. We break through the doors there, we go southwards to that conflict over here with a lot of enemies still remainder. See a lot of he forces running in. See just a large amount of enemy forces clashing with an equal amount of he, he forces this last remainder assault on this a little bit of a hairy north conflict just a bit tip scales for Higi and of course we've got that main the main one right in the middle is this huge bulk of forces with now sending in off to the side will remain and you can already see the spearmen breaking with it these two units even sidewinding them but that's gonna happen anyway so you're gonna see this happen the pressure on the enemy and just a runaway runaway slam on the enemy the horsemen f fleeing backwards but charging on the other side 
Enemy is corralled with that last move. Changes the look of the battle when that bulk gets in there. We send in that last horseman. The front is fleeing for the enemy here, walking backwards. Look, the enemy run. Craven. So this 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 tactic obviously working to the to the bottom. You can see archers wavering. <coughs> we send in the the reinforcements just for good measure. Run them through. This last stronghold of enemy here for Cao Cao. Under siege and breaking. You can even see the Feather Forbidden Orphan unit in the mix too. Charging into He Yi. See the Axeman going down, getting chopped down. And they are fairly ferocious against horsemen. The enemy's still fighting. You can see them putting up another fight here. Right at the end. Just a bit outmatched. See this last remainder. Albert unit getting charged. Melting away the enemy here. The ready. And then charging back into the main battle, which is still no still clashing, but folding here on multiple sides, leaving this right flank. From northwest position point of view, uh, we send them straight at the back of the enemy here. This last strength, but when this wave happens... There you go. Look at that. Oh, man. And the enemy has gone running. Sent packing. Yeah, finally the front gives way. Handful of units left. Speed up just a bit. Victory. Let's see. See how done. 16 minutes, 57 seconds. Uh, 2,200 kills. It looks to be on my side. Careful planning. Deployed 5,896. Lost 3,585. 2,311 remaining. 309 enemy captured. 3,946 for enemy deployed. 3,145 uh, lost. 801 remaining. You don't know why. The follow-up battle now is going to be Kingdom of Wei. Cao Cao is attacking himself. Look at this. This is what he brings. So, yeah, Imperial Bulwarks. He's got some West Court Emperor's Guard. We have some Imperial Archers, Archer Militia, uh, the Anzao Jai Infantry. Uh, we also have Jiodong Swordsmen, Yellow Axes, some Dao Sword Guard Cavalry, Mount Lancer Militia. They also got some Xingliang Cavalry. 
Yen Tsao Chai Infantry, Lankai Swordsman, they got some heavy crossbows. And but he's coming with uh, another two armies, another two armies, and they got a lot of different things here. A lot of pole arms, a lot of archers, a lot of swords, <coughs> a lot of horsemen. You got some heroin of hand in the mix here too. And voice chaser marksman looks similar to the defenders of Earth to be true. You know, a lot of good archer units. And they are a ambushing the run of the mill. Seems to be uh, yellow turban. Axemen, horsemen, swordsmen, warriors, all across the line here for he forces. Uh, some Chai Tsi raiders, two units. They got some ma archer, archery masters. They got bringers of righteousness again. The glaive units. Uh, some decent amount of horsemen. Yeah, definitely decent amount. Eight units, nine units, ten units. Uh, so yeah, it's gonna be 2,998. Uh, we already yet told it. Let's battle Yangs out farmland. It's got about 900 more men than him, somewhere around that. And the first army here is a bit beat up. That is not what I was hoping to see, to be true. Seems to be a bit of a... We're going to have to run to the reinforcement deployment zones. what we're going to do. We're going to send that army right there. We can see an army right across the way. That main army, and it has more th than us. And you can see here, a lot of our units... Low health in this first army. About a little bit less than half health. And the generals need to group up. So that happens. We're good. Again, this is two retinues here. Let's read the enforcement here. Get these archers grouped up. X wielder vulgars, yellow turban warriors that up as well. Decent amount of horsemen. Quite amount of horsemen here. Got ten units, four to work with on the outside. Bring up the other bowmen. Left one. Bring them to full line here. Bring up the other six, seven, eight forces on number five here. See some cavalry causing us some problems here, catching one of ours. We're gonna send out on return. See if we can change the battle here. And we're getting hit by archery fire though, sadly. The enemy is in viewpoint. And the cavalry that I have is not as much as I had wanted. Oh, so these are the ones that are... Some have a lot less than we had hoped. Still something. And cavalry charging into our cavalry here. Units. So we're gonna send over some of these some of these foot soldiers off to the left here. Change the fate of this uh, cavalry battle. You can 
can see we're hitting the enemy bowmen as they thought they can hit us. We're going to fire back with our archers because the archers still pack a punch. Yes, they do. We're going to go after their uh, crossbows now. As we can see heavy crossbowmen in the distance. We're going to chase after them. As these troops here hit this cavalry. Uh, that, yeah, there's the enemy fo moving away from it. Do not like those units moving in there. We are. Heavy crossbows hit just in a good nick of time. We're going to shift this Xenoland Cavalry charge. Get a couple shots in. You are pitiful. Enough. They slam into uh, one of my units' Sacred Garden Watch. Multiple units in the distance for the enemy, but low. They got a small, uh, beaten up, beaten up horseman just hit the field, and that's gonna be not gonna enough to take to take it on here. We're gonna go for that bowman unit again, heavy cross, but we're gonna send our other cavalry four units off on the left flank. Got our bulk of our army two line position, and our arrows are firing upon one of the cavalry crossing the field for the enemy. Our generals are a matter. I want to bring them back here. All the gens. And I don't know, but I don't know if we have that. We don't have that ability that I had wanted. So one of our generals, two of our generals, gonna have to stay back, try and stay safe. See here, some young sound giant, but you're getting too close, and the general's gonna go in there. Rally! Our general needs our aid! Ready! Make ready! To attention! Stand ready! Same with our captains running in, trying to trying to attack that over there. We could see some some more units getting caught off guard here. A lot of the bulk army attacking that initial that initial side, and we're gonna be caught off guard here. We're gonna have to retreat backwards. Confronted more than we can take, and we need to get back to the main army. If they're main army, we might have to move our army here and attack. I think that's what we're gonna have to do. We're just gonna traverse right towards them. We're gonna go get rid of that Bowman unit, Lankai archers. It's gonna be able to target us. Everyone crossing over here. Get that Defenders of Earth unit as well as. So we're gonna split the horsemen up, and we're gonna go cross field here. One on the left, one on the right. You can see them getting chased down right now. As I move towards to try and go and relieve that initial army that is now embattled on Pond Crossing over the re deployment zone, just trying to hold out. You can see it. Groups of units. Try to take on multiple enemy. I do have bowmen, but it's not. It's not fixing the problem. Sun Quan's going to be tangling with some Bringers of Righteousness, and we're going to send those Arrow Archers in there to attack as well. Axel the Rogger's going to be the one of the first units to relieve. You can see that Bowman causing problems. We're going to attack that Lankai Archer unit, because he's causing one of the remainders hitting that crossing those reinforcements. Cavalry charge right to the back of them. There's, there's the Axe Wilder Wild Vogger charge. See now they're getting in there. The men are out of ammunition. Sporadic battles all across the field here. Tsao Tsao commanders right there. And we just got nothing really to hit them with with our generals. We can go after them, try and get them. 
see what that comes up. Yellow Turban Warriors unit and a Reclaimers unit sandwiching surrounding Yang Tao, Jai Infantry, and Cao Cao. So we send in our generals to try and take care of them. Attack the one side. And it looks like the enemy has the advantage now. Even grouping up, well, I don't know if we're going to be able to break this bulk. See, 16, what is it, 1610 against 2497, so the enemy's still having an edge. With that partial army getting a little bit crushed, I don't know if it's going to be enough to be able to handle. Uh, taking on this bulk, you can see surrounded that there's a multiple of our forces there. Got another Spearman unit in the mix. Might change some things. But they also got more units as well as. And sporadically, we still have a re redeployment zone. That's probably what's going to change it to a certain degree. As we can see it right here. And right at the redeployment zone, Tao Tsao is going to have to deal with a huge amount here now. Hitting the field, we're going to send those horsemen right after him. Fresh units on the field, Yusha. We're gonna send them towards that battle zone where we're trying to surround. Send those other forces over to the battle. As you can see here, multiple. All, all different patches of attacking this large mass of enemy. And just basically holding the line until those reinforcements, that reinforcing army gets there. See multiple units grouping up. Cavalry charge in the south of this mass. And Wave Force is just standing confident and fighting. Not allowing Yee to get through. Still maintaining the tempo of that battle. And our generals has fallen. Kongrong on the battlefield. Now we're going to target him before we move on. So Kongrong's going to be going down here any second, and he's gone. And we go back and send forces towards that unit. White Tiger Guard. Generals go over there and start to tangle. The time has come. And then you can see 
another general. Su Pei Yu, and we're gonna go after him. We're gonna send more forces. These uh, reinforcements hitting the field, and we're still kind of chipping away at that that large amount of enemy. Then it's sort of grouped up into like two groupings on either side. Just a small spearman reclaimers unit for from my side holding it over there and causing it to be blocked, unable to draw over across the way to still fight off these yellow turban warriors. Three units still holding it down there, with multiple forces right beside it too. You got imperial bulwarks, uh, heavy crossbow, west court emperor's guard from the enemy. Uh, all around it as well, and we're still kind of getting blocked by a couple, a couple different uh, giant infantry and, and halberds, as well as mounted lancer militia now clashing into it, from being able to get over there across the way, <clears throat> and we could just run right past what we're going to do here, because we got to get over there so you can see us just take off away from this engagement, just start running towards it. And that's going to be the relief, but our right side there collapses, the reclaimers have to retreat backwards. So we're gonna block here. We'll get that axeman through there. Try to continue to move upwards. And the balance of power is now shifting for the, for the enemy. We still have more reinforcements? No, I don't know if we do. This is not going to be good here. 1154 against 1571, and we're already we're getting embattled and trying to deal with the remainder of the enemy, and then they got more coming down. They got two redeployment zone stuff. So we'll see what it is. It's not something too damaging. That would be good. We're trying to group up here on the north. Protectors of Earth here, uh, hit, but then here's more Axe Warriors, you got some Yang Sajai Infantry, Axe Warriors, all coming down, three units almost apiece, and then still those crossbows, uh, we've gathered together in the north area of our army, and the rest of it seems to be still in, in conflict, but kind of just holding the line against something they might lose, so... There is Cao Cao still alive, and I'm going to send my generals after him. First, maybe deal with uh, Su Pei Yu. But I don't know, man. If they get any more closer, that's going to be the end of it. The enemy general here fleeing. Tao Tao in the mix. And try and get him out. The enemy general is fallen. They were no match. Enemy general has fallen. Two enemy generals, to be true. And then we got a new one. Wu Ba, Sentinel, in the mix. And we just don't have enough men to be able to hold them off here. 400 against 1523. That's going to be the end of it. There's no way. Wuba is half health. We almost got him down. And he retreats. Our men flee the 
battlefield. Another enemy general here. Maneuvering still Wu Ba. <coughs> Small remainder of uh, friendly forces here, half retreating. It seems to be the answer. They Our just sort of outmatch. Not enough troops. That will be the end of that battle. Close defeat. has brought you to the very gates of your enemy. Behind their walls, they steel themselves against Restore your armies. Authority. They cannot hold out forever. Yet an assault may be costly if not swift. Yeah. So attacks and it does well. 5,273 on our side against 4,684, so definitely having enough, but seemingly not to a certain degree. Uh, 4,684 deployed for the enemy, 3,096 lost, 521 uh, remaining on my side, 1588 remaining for the enemy, 699 captured. Withdraw to strike later. Uh, 490, so this is going to be Battle of Chen, Imperial City, Kingdom of Wei attacking uh, Sun Ren, uh, attacking Zhang Yan. So we're going to delegate this, but we're also in the mix as well too with an army supporting. Or saying in. And yeah, decisive victory. Pirate victory here uh, is predicted against Kingdom of Way attacking again. It's gonna be 2212 as well as 3306 for Hee Hee, 445 and 33, yeah, 83 for a Kingdom of Way. We're going to delegate this. <clears throat> Picture victory, and it will be yours. with our friend. Pirate victory, 5,518 deployed. Uh, we're going to release Guanjia. Recruit, 2,696 lost. Enemy lost, 2,270 off, 3,828. Close defeat here. Look at this. 684... 694 against 326, Siege of Yang Tsao Farmland. Hmm, decisive defeat. We're going to delegate. And we got decisive defeat there. And we got Yang Tsao Farmland. Retaken. you attacking again uh, we can't retreat we're gonna delegate it's just pretty close to, could be a valiant defeat we could win this uh, I think delegate would be better chipping away close battle As we come to, we gotta replace Dead General. Looks like so, I think we do well. Gang Tai as well, too. Gu Wan Lin, again. A couple executed. Factions development, the Lance Frugality, a skillful warrior strikes safe to decisive blow and stops he does not dare to strike again to assert and complete his mastery 
He will strike the blow, but will be on his guard against being vain or boastful or arrogant in consequence of it. He strikes it as a matter of necessity. He strikes it, but not from a wish for mastery. We have studied the scriptures and have taken our next step towards enlightenment. What shall we study next? So we have that one. Minus five construction time, grain storage farm, and communal trade and organization. Good. An exquisite weapon. You were brought an item wrapped in cloth, a gift from one of the masters of your arsenal. Pulling away its drapery, you find yourself gazing upon a weapon of exquisite craftsmanship. Such an armament, clearly made by one of considerable skill, is an offering you would be foolish not to accept. Ti Yang, executed. Gu Wan Lan, executed. Couple of broad generals lost in the mix. We do have a court position, General of the Land. Bian Jun. Faction screen. We have generals uh, to upgrade as well. Uh, quite a bit, but I think I'm actually going to wrap it up here. I think we have uh, still going on for that but that battle in the north. You can see new, new forces moving in. If we don't deal with it now, raise another army, I think. Yu Yan, attend. And Yuan Chang. And the Lang Zedao. Troops, summon the merchants. I would browse their goods. To the grand design. So we have situated by high and have a couple generals there. And we do have two in the south that we can bring up as well. Huada and Hudu. We'll put Hudu on march. Get him to Peng Cheng. Bring more forces up to Peng Cheng. Bring these forces back towards Jiang Pu. Bring them back. And even though we got Zhang Yan forces, we can go to Chen actually. And then next turn, move forward with those three armies. Cao Cao to make a, another difference. Five armies heavy, ready to go. And then in the north, sending over to Wing Chuan Farmland. Be true, but we can actually go. I think the farmland would be a good move. At ease. To and the farmland is. We're gonna be able to delegate this. We're gonna be able to go up further, take a bit of the land of the Kingdom of Song because they had been attacking us last we episode quite heavily. So we take the farmland, and then we're still we're sieging Ying Chuan the city, and we're gonna delegate it as well. So that was fairly pitiful. We'd already had those Cutting battles earlier on that, they, that we attacked with, so there's barely any left for the enemy. Uh, 277, not able to hold back 3,000. That's going to be a normal response. We've got two up there in the north now. That's some Gongdu forces. Delegate this one. Attack, full 40 gone. Karma. <coughs> and we gotta watch out for Lu Bu, Kingdom of Song, right across the river. He's he's on the river. Deflect with shield, cleave with sword. 
Ready yourselves. So we clean up there and get a bit more territory up in the north, almost linking. Gongdu. Yanshu right in the middle. And then to the south, Kingdom of Wei, trying to move upwards. And now it's going to be regrouping with those five armies over near Chen and Pencheng. Try and take out Yang Zhao. Finally overtake that imperial city. <coughs> Thanks for joining.